Hey everyone, it's Sally here and today we are going to talk about how to retire early on a small budget. In my last video, I talked about how much you need to retire in the Philippines. And some of you ask kung kakayanin ba if mababa lang ang salary ninyo. Now, let's talk about ways on how to do that. Sabi nga nila, di ba? Kung gusto, maraming paraan. So, kung gusto ninyong makaretire ng maaga on a small budget, hanapan natin ng paraan. Okay ba? Let's dive in. First up, you have to pay attention to your spending. This means taking a careful look at what you buy each month. Alam ko medyo challenging ito, lalo na pag hindi sanay mag-track ng expenses. But if you really want to retire early, you need to do this as soon as possible. Divide your expenses into two categories, fixed and reducible. Fixed expenses are things like your mortgage or utility bills, while reducible expenses are things that you can cut back like subscription service you don't use or shopping for clothes. By knowing exactly what you need to live your life, you can make smarter decisions and find ways to cut back. Every dollar or peso saved gets you one step closer to your retirement in the Philippines. For example, if you're spending 1,500 pesos a month on a subscriptions you rarely use, that's 18,000 pesos a year that could go into your retirement fund. Over 10 years, that is 180,000 pesos, a significant amount that you can use for your future. Second, keep an emergency fund. Having an emergency fund is very important. This fund can cover unexpected expenses like pag nasira ang sasakyan or medical bill without affecting your retirement plans. Start small but be consistent in building this safety net. It gives you peace of mind to know that you have extra money saved up so you don't have to use your retirement savings. A study says that having enough money saved to cover your cost for three to six months can make you feel a lot less stressed about money. For example, if you spend 20,000 pesos a month, you should save 60,000 pesos to 120,000 pesos as an emergency fund. Ngayon, saan mo pwedeng ilagay itong emergency fund na ito? You can keep it in a high yield savings account or a money market account where it can earn interest but still be accessible when you need it. Number three is to plan your meals. Planning your meals ahead of time can help you save a lot of money on food. Once a week, take some time to plan your meals. Look for sales and discounts para ma-maximize yung savings ninyo. You will be amazed at how much money you can save over time if you don't have to go to the store every time for small things. For example, if you normally spend 5,000 pesos a month on food by planning your meals, you can cut that down to 4,000 pesos and you will save 12,000 pesos a year. That's 120,000 pesos over 10 years, which is enough to cover your living expenses for a few months. Number four, live in a low-cost area. Living in a low-cost area can make your money go much further. If you're currently in a high-cost area, why not consider moving to a more affordable place? Even within the Philippines, there are beautiful yet inexpensive places where you can live comfortably without breaking the bank. Take cities like Dumaguete and Baguio, for example. These locations offer a much lower cost of living compared to Metro Manila. In Dumaguete, you can enjoy stunning coastal views while Baguio offers cool mountain air and scenic landscapes. Both cities provide affordable housing, excellent healthcare, and vibrant communities. Plus, there are plenty of free or low-cost activities to enjoy like nature parks and local festivals. Did you know that moving from a high-cost urban area to one of these more affordable regions can save you up to 50% on living expenses? That's right! Your retirement savings could go so much further, allowing you to retire sooner and enjoy a higher quality of life. Making the move to a low-cost area means pwede mong may stretch yung retirement funds mo 
while living comfortably. It's not just a dream. It's a smart, achievable goal that can transform your retirement experience. But before moving to a much lower cost area, you have to make sure that all the amenities that you want are accessible, like healthcare. Kasi yan ay isang malaking factor, lalo na pag nasa retirement age na. Number five, buy and sell secondhand. Buying and selling secondhand is a smart way to save money and make use of things you already have. Thrift stores and online marketplaces like Facebook Marketplace have lots of affordable items. For example, buying a secondhand or used appliances like a refrigerator can save you 30 to 50 50% compared to a new one. If a new refrigerator costs 20,000 pesos, you could get a good second-hand one for 10,000 to 14,000 pesos. That's a big savings. Selling items you no longer need can also help you make extra money. Let's say meron kang bike na hindi na ginagamit. You could sell it online for 5,000 pesos. Or maybe meron kang mga damit na hindi na rin ginagamit. Selling them could bring in another 3,000 pesos. Imagine turning that clutter into cash. If you sell a few items, you might make 10,000 pesos. That money could go into your savings, help pay for a trip, or even just cover some of your bills. Plus, shopping secondhand is good for the environment. It reduces waste by giving things a second life. So, next time you need something or want to make some extra money, think about buying and selling secondhand. You'll be surprised at how much you can save and earn. Number six is to leverage local travel deals. Instead of mag-travel abroad, explore the beauty of local destinations. The Philippines is full of affordable yet stunning travel spots that won't break the bank. Many local airlines and travel agencies offer discounts and promotions throughout the year, especially during off-peak seasons. Taking advantage of these deals can allow you to enjoy mini vacations and explore the beauty of your home country. For example, pwede kayong humanap ng mga promo fare sa mga beautiful beach destinations sa Pilipinas for a fraction of the cost of international travel. Not only will this save money, but it also supports local tourism and allows you to discover hidden gems in your own backyard. Seven is to take preventive steps. Finally, take simple steps to keep what you have in good shape. Regular maintenance for your car and home can stop expensive repairs later. The same goes for your health. Regular exercise, healthy eating, and good sleep can help you avoid high medical bills. By taking care of your things and your health, you will have a longer, happier, and more financially stable retirement. For example, regular car maintenance can make your car last longer, saving you from buying a new one. Similarly, staying healthy can prevent expensive medical problems in the future. No matter your income, these tips can help you save money and live better. Leave a comment below with your thoughts or any other strategies you have for retiring early on a small budget. Click the bell icon to stay updated and share it with your friends who might need it. Now that you know this, watch this video next.